Hey YouTubers, thought I'd take you back to an old school pocket knife, rarely seen or talked about, but one of my favorites, and that is the US pocket knife. Originally introduced in 1944, it got the nickname of Demo Knife or Demolition Knife at one point, because it was rumored that the knife wasn't magnetic, with the thought being that they could deactivate mines without setting them off. But it is a stainless steel, a ferrous metal, as you can see it's very magnetic. Now, this knife has been made by various manufacturers um, with the blades either being 440A, B, or C, depending on what you get. Uh, the springs, spacers, and scales are 430 stainless steel. You know, all this with the intent of durability and corrosion resistance. The knife has a main blade, which is very nice. Uh, the edge retention isn't all that great, um, but it does retouch up very easily. Very serviceable blade. It has a can opener. It says can opener on it if you can't figure out what that is. <laughs> the tip on this one is broken. It is a very old knife. Get to that here in a sec. It has a nice screwdriver, very sturdy, and uh, a bottle opener. Now, on this particular model it has this thumb stud serrated which was said to take down small arms you know for prying off the extractor off an 03 Springfield uh, punching out pins on a 1911 you know, that sort of thing very very cool it has a nice awl it's sort of vexed very pointy. Um, this is probably one of my favorite tools in the knife. In fact, I think it is my favorite tool. Uh, number one go tool, go go to uh, tool aside from the main blade, of course. Um, I've used it for drilling into wood, uh, various types of wood, and even metal. Works excellent, and it works awesome as a fire scraper on your fire steel. Just produces an amazing shower of sparks. In fact, I don't think I've seen anything produce a shower of sparks like I have off the awl. Not just off this knife, of course, but, you know, other awls like on Swiss Army knives and stuff like that. It just, it just works great. You need to check it out. Try that out because it works, it works awesome. And it has this large bell here, which uh, back in the day, I believe they call it a clevis. Now, some have said that they you know, attached a uh, string to it and then dunked it in boiling water to sanitize it and remove impurities, that kind of thing. I have a lanyard on another model I'll show you here in a second. And that is this one here. This is a newer model. This one is from 1986. It's made by Queen Cutlery. And I purchased two of these. Uh, one to put away because they had two on in stock and I wanted to just, you know, put one away for collectability, so I left it in the original plastic and cardboard box it came with, instructions and all that. Put that one away and use this one. This one is uh, pretty much the same. They are stiff opening. It doesn't have that um, thumb stud like the other one does, which I believe they discontinued in 1972. Uh, the thumb stud, that is. One thing about these is you don't want to you know, open all the compartments simultaneously. I sometimes see people doing that. You know, the reason being is they have these springs in the back, and when you open them all, uh, they're prone to breaking. Um, I've had that happen on another pocket knife that I had, and um, just ruined my day. If you're a knife lover, it'll ruin your day. Yeah, this other one is uh, manufactured by Imperial. You can see. Fold it up here so you can see there. Right here it is an imperial design, uh, imperial, and it is uh, 1961. And I like this one better than than the Queen that I just showed you, 85 model. You know, 
partly because it's uh, it's been used quite a bit and um, it opens a lot smoother and uh, that nice thumb stud right there which I told you was used for you know small arms and all that but it works very good at deploying you know helping to de deploy the, the screwdriver because like I said you know the tools on here are, are, are pretty stiff in there yeah over the years it's had uh, a few manufacturers like I talked about uh, Imperial Camillus, uh, Schrade, Ulster, and Queen Cutlery. And uh, I absolutely love the knife. Uh, I do. I don't carry it as much as I, I, I used to. Uh, I moved on to the Sack Farmer, Alox version. I absolutely love this knife. Love, love, love. I carry this uh, almost all the time in my pocket. I love it that much. I'll do a separate review on that. Um, it's pretty similar um, in terms of tools and stuff like that, but of course it's smoother opening. I mean, it's, it's a modern tool and it has a nice saw on it, excellent saw. And I'll talk about that later. But uh, I've seen these on the internet, eBay, and uh, some other sites. Uh, ranging in price anywhere from $20 upwards to the ridiculous amount of $200 depending on you know the manufacturer in the year that sort of thing um, I'm looking right now to, to collect some of the other models I used to have another one that was uh, a Navy model and said USN on, on it uh, but I left it in my car and it got stolen and uh, pissed me off but uh, yeah this is a very very good uh, pocket knife um, that's a little weighty certainly more heavy than the Alox version of course because it is all stainless steel um, but you should uh, look into these knives the US pocket knife thanks for watching guys